So I'm back from the gym now. I just went and did my uh, chest and tricep workout and I hate working out at night. I specifically work out in the morning because I hate being around other people. Plus, I just like that that starts off my day. The gym was insane and I swear I'm never gonna oversleep my gym alarm again. That's a total and complete lie, but right now I just pray to God that I never do that again. So I'm home where uh, my wife has already started the food. So there she's got some mushrooms and onions going for the sauce. And uh, there you can see that she is doing the, uh, the zucchini noodles and squash noodles. And there's the trash from my Beyond Burgers. Um, like I said, I'm going to see what happens whenever I mix stuff in with that. Try and season it like an Italian seasoning kind of thing. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know and let you see what it looks like. But I better uh, clean up and get started on that because this stuff really doesn't take that long to cook. Uh, so I'm already behind. So here's the meatballs um, that I made with the Beyond Burger. So basically all I did was I took the patty and put it in a bowl and uh, put some different stuff in it like basically garlic and uh, basil and some other stuff. I don't remember what all I put in it now. Um, but I just put like a handful of things in it and then mixed it up and threw it in here uh, like black pepper and basil and oregano and stuff. So um, they balled up fairly well. Um, you know, there they are cooking, so we'll see how these turn out. They're searing decently. It's really kind of a weird texture to work with to try and make balls out of. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see what the texture's like when they're done. And hopefully it's going to be really good. Alright, so we finally got that done. Um, well, here you can see. There's the meatballs finished in my plate, and it's kind of watery, but who cares? And obviously I use tons of nooch, because uh, if you're vegan, you know nooch is life, and there's no statement truer than that. So, let's see. I already know I love this pasta. It's not really pasta, it's vegetables. Um, I already know I like this spaghetti, but let's see what these meatballs are like. So you can see it's kind of like if you've had the burgers or if you've seen the burgers, I mean, it's kind of like that's similar to what this is. And that actually works really well. <laughs> I was kind of, uh, I was kind of worried about it because it's a weird texture to like season and try and smash together because it doesn't really like cling. Um, but that's actually super delicious. It's expensive meatballs, but it's vegan meatballs that are really good. Um, I used one whole patty. For me, the patties that I got were, I think $5.99 or $6.99 one of those two so six or seven bucks for uh the two pack which is all they have hopefully um as time goes on and they refine this a little bit more they'll have like just a ground product you know kind of like like you would get at the store for beef um but obviously not beef because that could come in handy for different things like i'm thinking uh, i'm thinking about the holidays coming up you know and different things that you could do if you had a bunch of this, you might actually be able to pull off a pretty delicious and fairly realistic meatloaf. Um, but this actually works really well for the meatballs. Until they get wet, as I'm finding out right now. And then they get a little soggy and then they start to fall apart. So, eat fast but they're delicious so and all i did was seriously like basil oregano garlic and black pepper i think is really all that i did to put in them so i'm going to shut up and eat my food now um but let me know what you guys think about this video let me know what you think about other videos 
Um, if the sound is an issue, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. So hopefully the sound isn't terrible. If you have a recommendation, I have a Canon DSLR. That's what I'm shooting on right now. I just got it, I'm learning about it. Um, I'm wanting to do more with this channel. That's one of the reasons that I got this. Plus I have a, a business opportunity that this is gonna come in handy for. Um, and hopefully that'll come to fruition and you guys will get to hear more about it through these videos. But um, if the sound quality is an issue and you guys have a recommendation for things that I can do, tricks or good products like good mics um, that I can use, then help me out because literally right now, whatever you're hearing is what the camera's picking up. So hopefully it's decent quality. I haven't listened to it on a computer yet. I've just heard it from the playback from the camera. And I mean, it's a speaker that's that big, so how good can it be, right? Um, so hopefully it's actually better than what I think it's gonna be. But if you have other ideas for videos that I should do, um, let me know. I've had a couple people talk to me about like a challenge, like a like the 10,000 calorie challenge kind of thing, uh, like a vegan pizza 10,000 calorie challenge. Uh, I've also had a couple people ask me about like a full day of eating thing, which is kind of hard for me because I have like a normal day job, but maybe I can do that on a weekend or something. Um, but let me know if you have ideas, if you have things that you want to see that you would be interested in hearing about, um, just let me know. I'm going to do another video, uh, should be up later this week or, or this weekend. That's going to be about, um, something that I've discovered that I actually really like for my lunches. So look forward for that and uh, comment below and let me know what else I should do. And if you like this video, if you like some of the videos that I've done, like them, share them. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these videos. Uh, I want to help people. So if you know somebody that might be interested in these types of videos, share it out, let them know and um, let me know what I can do to make these videos more entertaining and more helpful and more informative for you guys about what my experience is. And I'll be happy to look and see what I can do for those. So see ya.